All right. At it again. And so today we're pulling traps, so that's a bummer. Got too many other things going on. So you can tell the weather is uh, very overcast and very, very drizzly today. So, yep. We'll get this done. See if we have anything. Alright, All right, guys. That was my cast around set. This is about as good an angle as I could get on it for you. And this one's coming out of here today. You can see that, uh, kind of hard with that glare. There's a new house 48 sitting right down there. You can see the jaws of the trap. This is not your standard new house 48. It had a broken jaw and these originally had cast jaws, so I made a set of jaws for it. So as you can see, there's no teeth on that 48. So eh, call it a 48, call it a hodgepodge. And it still works. So but yeah, so that one will come out today. Alright, so I was really hoping to catch one in my snare. That was one of my goals this year was to catch a beaver in my snare, but no, nope, not this time. Which is okay, because there is always next season. Or maybe if I find some more time this season. But you can tell right there, we've been walking there a lot. There's a bunch of deer tracks all over that. So, kind of how I found this spot was out deer hunting. Buddy shot a buck up over the hill. And I went walking, and this is what I found. All right. Well, nothing in the 330. The trigger looks like it's walked over a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it doesn't quite look how I had it. So, eh, it is what it is. All right, we'll keep going. All right, this was that other cast around set. Got my bait sticks. And as you can see, my cable is exposed and my trap is gone. Actually, I can see it right out there. Looks like a little beaver, another little one. So I'll go ahead and get this guy in, grab the cable, and give her a pull. <sighs> This ought to be pretty cool because I have a game camera set up over this too. So, yeah, another little beaver. All right, get this and grab that airbag. Yeah, I got another one. And got it pretty high up on that there leg too. So, yeah, so this is where my set is. And if you look right there, here's my game camera. So we'll have to check out the footage from that and see what we got. And uh, hopefully it's worth putting on here. All right. So we'll go check some more traps real quick. All right. Doesn't look like anything was even going on over here. But that's all right. We'll just try again in the fall. So 330's right there. You can see the trigger right there. I got a little wire on there for otter season spread the triggers nice and wide and put that thin wire there so but all right we'll get this pulled out and uh we'll start packing everything out all right all right going back to this here snare setup all right make sure you take all your your wire don't leave any of that stuff around that great big section of wire that i got that is going home with me. Take all your stuff back out. Don't leave anything. Also, you don't want to let anybody else know that you've been uh, trying to catch critters there either. So, just take the trash back out with you. Leave it how you found it. Right, this is all my drowner bag was. Just burlap bag. Those two big old rocks in there. So, yeah. 
And then I just wired the bag shut, wired my cable to it, stake my uh, cable to the ground first, and then you toss your bag out. Don't toss your bag and then try to stake your cable because if your bag keeps going, you're screwed. I just heard something over there. Be nice if a bear stepped out right now. Well, if I uh, see a bear, I'll uh, try to pop it and get it on film. All right, well, sure looks like they were uh, scraping up stuff for a caster mound right there. down there that was not there two days ago when I was here so well, guess uh, save some beaver for next season be bigger by then see him swimming around right there right there a couple sea lions Hopefully they'll be closer, a little bit better shot on me. 